Thank you, and good afternoon, Chairman Cornyn, Ranking Member Durbin, and members of the subcommittee. I could not be prouder to be here today representing the men and women of the Border Patrol. I joined the Border Patrol nearly 25 years ago because of my strong belief in our border security mission. I could never have envisioned that today agents would spend at least 40% of their time as child care professionals, medical caregivers, bus drivers, and food service workers. Time and time again, my agents continued to go above and beyond. Just a few weeks ago, agents rescued a three-year-old boy abandoned by smugglers in a cornfield with only his name and his parents' phone number written on his shoes. Agents have rescued more than 2,200 migrants endangered by ruthless smugglers so far this year. As we sit here today, thousands more are being encouraged to bring or send their children to our border based on smugglers' false promises of a safe and easy journey. Our apprehension numbers are off the charts compared to recent years. As of April 30th, we apprehended 460,294 people on the southern border. In the last week, we had our highest single day, over 5,200 apprehensions, and our single largest group of 421 illegal aliens. As of Sunday, only seven months into the year, we have now surpassed the total southwest border apprehensions of every fiscal year since 2009. The number of family units and unaccompanied children has skyrocketed to 64% of southern border apprehensions. So far this year, we've apprehended 248,197 family unit aliens and 44,779 UACs. These populations present significant challenges, not only because of the additional care they require, but because our immigration system treats them differently than single adults. For the first time in Border Patrol history, nearly half of the adults we apprehended in April brought children. They have received the message loud and clear, bring a child, you will be released. In April, we apprehended an average of 2,400 families and children each day and ICE and HHS lack the capacity to keep up. Since March 19th, Border Patrol has been forced to directly release processed non-criminal family units from locations that are dangerously over capacity, 33,000 people to date. Though we are added, adding new soft-sided and modular facilities in El Paso, Rio Grande Valley, and Yuma sectors, our short-term holding facilities are still beyond capacity. To address the volume, we've detailed agents from the northern and coastal borders and received assistance from our brothers and sisters in OFO. Even with additional manpower, my field commanders have had to pull agents off the border, reduce task force participation, postpone training, and close checkpoints. We cannot address this crisis by simply shifting more resources or building more facilities. It's like holding a bucket under a faucet. It doesn't matter how many buckets you give me if we can't turn off the flow. To address the flow of illegal immigration, there must be consequences for illegally crossing the border. I've said before, this is both a humanitarian and a border security crisis. But as we focus our resources on the immediate humanitarian needs, we have been forced to put the nation's security at risk. We have apprehended more than 3,500 people with gang affiliation and criminal histories so far this fiscal year, and assaults on my agents are up more than 20%. Single adult apprehensions have reached a five-year high, 167,318 so far this fiscal year. Of the three demographic groups, we have the greatest ability to deliver consequences to single adults. Knowing that, these individuals seek to, to actively seek to evade law enforcement. Every agent that I pull off the line to process and care for families and children increases the risk that illegal border crossers will get past us including those smuggling drugs and other contraband. We need to know who and what is crossing our border, but that is nearly impossible when our manpower is diverted. Cocaine seizures this year have far exceeded last year's total. In January, we seized more than 700 pounds of cocaine being smuggled across the Rio Grande while agents were occupied with large groups of families nearby. And I worry how much more is getting past us. Simply put, we have been forced to put our border security and our national security at risk. ICE is quickly running out of space to detain adults during their immigration proceedings. My greatest concern is that we will have to begin releasing single adults. We must maintain the ability to deliver consequences or we will lose control of the border. 
My men and women are doing everything they can to meet this challenge, but Border Patrol cannot do this alone. Our nation cannot solve today's crisis using yesterday's legal framework. This outdated framework has not only tied our hands, but has driven hundreds of thousands of people to risk their lives on the dangerous journey to our border. Smuggling organizations have built an entirely new line of business around these families and children. It's a high, it is highly lucrative and provides a distraction that helps them cash in on other illicit activities. When my agents are working on the border, they know that smugglers and their scouts are watching their every move. Rest assured, they are watching what we do here in Washington, and they are banking on inaction. Crisis is the word so many are now using to describe the border, but now we need more than words. It's time to act. Thank you, and I look forward to your questions.